Welcome to WebWiz. In the previous two WordPress tutorials, we learned where to go to get a WordPress website and how to create posts. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create pages. Go to the website that you've created. It should look extremely similar to this website I created as a demo, as an example that I can show you. Uh, some differences might be a different description of the website, a different title of the website, um, and different posts. However, the uh, layout of the website should be the same, um, the picture up here should be the same, you should have the same gadgets or widgets on the sidebar as I do here, unless of course you have gone ahead and changed those features already. What exactly is a page? Well, we already have an example page that was created upon the creation of our website by WordPress. It's located right next to the home page and it says sample page. Click on it and you should be brought to a page that looks similar to this. And this will tell you exactly what a page is. This is an example page. It's different from a blog post because it will stay in one place and will show up in your site navigation in most themes. Most people start with an about page that introduces them to potential site visitors. For instance, if we go to a website like WebWiz, here are our various pages. We see that the home page has a uh, short introduction and some of our newest videos. The about page on the other hand, the About Us page gives some more information about exactly what WebWiz is and what it does. So that's just a few examples. Uh, you can go to almost any website and they'll have various pages and you can get a few ideas of what type of page you want to put on your website. In this tutorial I will show you how to edit and create new pages. My first example is how to create an About page. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this sample page so that it will become a about us page. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be signed in with your WordPress account. If you are not signed in, you're going to have to do so uh, by either using the meta sign in or by typing into your URL wp slash admin. If you are signed in, you'll have this black bar up here. Anytime you're signed in with your account on your WordPress website, this will show up. What you're going to do is, once you're on the sample page, go up to Edit Page and click it. And what we're going to do is highlight and erase this text, highlight and erase this title. You can see that the editor for a page is very similar to editing a uh, blog post. However, remember that this is different because pages serve a different purpose than a blog post, even though the editor looks the same. Type in to the title about or about us or something along those lines. And type into your text down here in this box whatever you want to be the content of your page. If you know HTML code, you can click the HTML tab over here so that you can enter uh, HTML into your about us page. You can also use these various tools up here as you would in a blog post to change the text format. You can just go ahead and type in your about us. Whatever, what, what, whatever your blog is about. Once you are done doing that, you can click Preview Changes up here to preview what your page would look like. This is what my page looks like. You can uh, then exit out of this and go back to the editor and press Update. Now you can click View Page. And here's the page we created. People can now, when they go to your website, instead of seeing some sample page created by WordPress, they will see an About Us page explaining what your website is about. Um, to create a new page, it's the same thing as a post. Just uh, go to Admin, Dashboard. Instead of clicking on Posts over here, click Pages. And we can see that we can edit this page, we can delete it, 
we can add another page just as we would with a post. So the uh, way to create a page is almost identical to the way to create a post, but they serve different purposes. So now you can create any page you want to make your website more professional. Thank you for watching this webless tutorial.